the EMC Video On Demand Library. In the Edison Report, you can also find the times it takes for users to perform certain tasks using the EVA. This includes creating snapshots. Here you have the times that Edison measured for creating a demand allocated snapshot and a fully allocated snapshot. Interestingly, both methods took 20 seconds. Let's see for ourselves. So now let's review a couple of um, tasks uh, that uh, the HP rep or the partner will probably not show because they obviously don't look as easy as um, <clears throat> it sounds. Um, and I wanted to start uh, just by looking at snap. I really wanted to focus on snapshot. In this case, I want to do a fully allocated snapshot. Uh, and the reason you want to do a fully allocated snapshot simply is to, to avoid that it gets uh, deleted if you run out of space in the disk group where the snaps do reside. So that is the only way to ensure that this is going to happen. And if you want to do an apples to apples comparison to the Clarion, that is probably what you want to look at. So ask your customer to have the HP rep show this. Now let's just, I selected a V-Disk, Elan, and I want to create a snapshot. And like the last time, I will basically just give it a name. Only that I won't do a demand allocated, I will do a fully allocated snapshot. And as you can see, now it actually added a little line here in a, a drop-down menu that says there are no containers available. So the first time I did this, I was like, well, what is that? And basically what a container does, it fences off the amount of space you need to protect the snap from being overridden within the disk group. So I have to cancel out of this action. Um, and now, very important, remember the parameters of this disk group. Uh, of the, I'm sorry, of this VDisk, of this LUN, which I'm in here. I can see them. I want to remember the disk group it is in. I want to remember the redundancy level, what RAID type, and how much space, this, how big this um, VDisk is. And basically, these parameters have to match when I create the container, otherwise it won't work. So I give it, leave the default name, remember, to. It, wasn't a, it would be, if I left the default now, my con I couldn't uh, complete my action to create a fully allocated snap because then I have the wrong disk group selected. So I go to the one I want that matches the, the V-disk. The RAID level is right. That's what I had. And now I create my container. Hit OK. And again, sometimes these trees just open up for whatever reason. I go back to my LUN. And now I will, again, create a snapshot. I think we called it snap one, fully allocated. And now you can see my container that I just created. Now what it gives me here is a, a, a notice that uh, I got to make sure that the, the, the cache algorithms within my LUN are changed to or set to write through. Now the default sometime, or I, from what I could see, is write back. And if you haven't changed this before, you will have to go back again. Create. Now in this case, it worked. So the cache uh, algorithms happen to have been right. Fine. Here it is. Again, this uh, slightly ugly phenomenon. I just opened the tree without doing anything actively of the other EVA that we're managing through this user interface. If I don't watch out, I may make some unwanted changes on this array. Let's go back to the EVA 4000 and check on our progress here. And as you can see, I now have a snap. And this time it's a fully allocated snap. Now, when you look at the Edison report, it says that it takes the same amount of time to create a demand allocated snap that it takes to create a fully allocated snap. There's no way, obviously, you've seen how, we, how easy it was to create a uh, demand allocated snaps in the previous uh, series, and um, you know it was quite. Um, there were quite a few steps here for the fully allocated, and that's apples to apples. Um, now I could show you um, how easy it is to create a, de a demand allocated snap um, on this LUN, only that I've lost that option now that I created one fully allocated snap. I basically only have the opportunity to do follow the same snap policy going forward. Now, one of the other things you may notice here 
is that when I go to this other LUN, I have the option to create a clone. I've lost that option here because it, the EVA does not support the ability to create a, snow, a clone and a snap off the same LUN. So if I have an Oracle instance, for example, and I want to have a protection copy, but I also want to have this clone uh, available for my uh, testing and development team, I cannot do this. So this is a nice feature, one of the examples that the Clarion supports, one of the limit limitations of the EVA. And we'll have a quick whiteboard in, in following here, this little conversation, kind of outlining what we're talking about. As you were able to see, it certainly did not take 20 seconds to perform a fully allocated snap. The Edison report also does not reflect the fact that once users create a snap of a LUN, they can no longer create a clone from it. These are just some of the limitations of the EVA that come to light as users start digging deeper into the functionality and management of the array.